Hello there, Quicksilver Slash here with another ranked battle replay. And the reason I've got another one of these is I was specifically asked to kind of keep updating with videos as I work my way through rank. So I'm now at tier 8, and this was just a really solid game, I thought, and what better to share it? It's a little different than my last one. Rather than going to the off cap, I push with the team and you kind of have to assess the situation each and every game. Sometimes it makes sense to, to run to an off cap, but with only two DDs, us both going to A could really have a positive impact if we only come against one enemy DD. <coughs> So right away we can see the enemy team appears to mostly be going towards Bravo and that bodes well for us at A, especially if one member of their team gets caught out here. So I get to the edge of cap and I basically turn alongside it because there's no reason to get closer to anyone than needed and that's when an enemy Benson pops up. So me and why you have to be mad, uh, open fire on him. First hit, I get a fire and a broken engine, and you can see who repairs that. Unfortunately, I didn't get something else there with the last two hits. Fire would have been amazing, but at this point, I'm detected. I want to break detection, but also start to help build a wall to block some of my battleships. You can see why you have to be mad has also put up his smoke, so we're kind of shielding our ships from detection just a little bit, especially if they move behind them. We've got A, so we have the early lead, with two of us coming in here, we capped it quicker than they could get B. So my goal now is to really, I think, try to push in. I want to capture ships trying to drive to the north through here. And I'm going to get in close and put some torps into that smoke there. And the one thing you have to be careful of, at least you can see it happening here, uh, is when you turn back across a cap, rather than breaking out and opening up, you do always risk torpedoes coming in like that. But I was well aware of the potential. I put the torps into the water. And start opening fire on this guy. All his support is on the other side of this hill. They can't really touch me. All there is is that Amagi and he misses. Once he pops smoke, no longer detected, so I'm free to keep advancing. And I'm going to continue to the southeast here and try to get spotting up from behind. Right now, we can't see any of them because of that screen. There's the chance they can see us. So if I can get down into this area I can see up into those ships spot them and they're gonna take damage and have no real way of seeing out of that screen but I run into another destroyer here start the fight and I'm gonna turn away because unlike before while I was where I was nice and clear you can see people have shots on me now I already stopped firing I'm outside the 5.8 they turned away as well and I'm just going to weave and try to keep as many hit points as I can here while breaking detection. And I finally managed to do it. So you can see their Amagi appears to have run aground over there. He's taking a beating as he backs up. Really good for us. Hopefully we can finish him off. That hit there from one of our battleships definitely helps. And. I'm going to try to push right back into where I just was, get back up into this position kind of up here, and put some torpedoes back across that opening because they, s looking at where the fire's coming from, you can see DD fire there, those white AP shells, some are farther back, I guess it was that North Carolina, and that's what I'm looking for when I'm throwing torpedoes at smoke is where I see gunfire from. So I put a set into the water. I probably could have held on to them a little longer so I had a flatter shot across this point. From as far south as I am, there's a chance he's guarded by that chunk of land. And now I am laying smoke for this Bismarck here and SCI Prime 
Unfortunately, it looks like our Bismarck is going to go steaming right through. Torpedoes to starboard. Some enemy torpedoes coming in well clear me. Hopefully well clear that Bismarck. And that's when I spot Veldez Rapper. And they're going to open fire on me. The first volley there it does some really good damage. But those torps that I put across the opening look to be right on target. And I know I just got to stay a second longer, keep alive, and I do three torpedoes, two floods, and the kill. That's the first kill of the game, which five minutes in, I find a little rare. Normally a DD eats it a little sooner than that. I fire some shells off at that destroyer as he breaks detection. Doesn't look like I got any hits in. But I've got lots of friendlies on my team. I'm not detected. I still have 7,000 hit points, which would be, I think, about half the hit points if I didn't have that tier 4 survivability skill. And I'm just going to wait and try to get some more torps into the water. 13 seconds to go until I can launch them. That North Carolina looks to be closing in. And I don't know that he's going to be able to turn and get north of that island from his position. So I'm going to lead the torps and put them on the southern edge of this shore here. Really with the idea that he's probably stopping up in that smoke to remain undetected. And he didn't appear to be turning away. So these have a solid chance of connecting with him. Also going to get a little more aggressive here. Uh, really the intention is to start trying to flush these destroyers out. I've got a battleship right near me with great secondaries. It's a Bismarck, so he's going to be able to support me. And I've got a couple more ships here, so if I can spot one of these two DDs kind of south of their cap, they're going to get ripped apart pretty quick. The torpedoes, meanwhile, on that North Carolina appear to be in about the right place, and we'll see right there two end up connecting and a flooding, which... I'm guessing he put out because I don't seem to be getting any more damage here, but my team is sure to quickly finish him off. So already up to 75,000 damage, we've got 200 point lead, and that's when I spot this Benson. And he's got way more health than me, I've got some support in the form of teammates, so you can see how important that is in some situations. When I've got good health, I can go in, I can be a little more aggressive, or in this case, I've got good support. If I did not have that support, I would not have made that move. I probably would have broken off, just stayed at distance, really just hoping for some detection on the battleships and cruiser and to avoid their destroyers. But having a destroyer and a pair of battleships right next to me was not wasn't really as worried you can see I took about 4,000 damage I managed to do about three and there is their other destroyer so if we can get this final destroyer we have a massive advantage as far as vision goes speed for getting late game caps even though this game is going very well for our team you still always have to be thinking about what gives me the best chances to win so I pull out to start attacking him. It's a bit of a risky move with the battleship there, but hopefully it pays off. I get the kill on the destroyer, and to me that was worth it. You can see the secondary fire coming in, and that's when one of my torpedoes connects with the Bismarck, giving me a double strike, which always feels to get two enemy ships in quick succession. 93,000 damage right now, and we're getting the final cap. Only 90 points off. This game is pretty much in the bag. You can see that Amagi, same health that it was last spotted on, and it's both these ships contributed nothing to their team. You've got to stay in and fight with your team. The only real exception to running out like this is if you're a battleship, you get down to 2,000 hit points to cycle through some of those repairs, I, I would say that's acceptable, or if you're getting chased. But they both just opened up into really faraway places, unable to focus us down, and that's why we're going to get through this game with our entire team intact. 
So let's jump to the post game now because this one's all but done. And how about that game? I thought it was another really solid performance in ranked battle, 359,000 credits, just about 3,000 XP, double strike, first blood, just shy of 100k damage, 7 Torah pits, 3 kills, 2 fires, and I helped cap both bases. And I think this game kind of shows opposite of the last one I put up from ranked play. You know, this was more torpedoes, kind of stealth flanking the team, as opposed to standing off and just using lots of gunfire. <clears throat> Top the team, 1894 base XP with our other destroyer who thought this was going to go poorly, uh, rounding up the other two kills. See big damage into the pair of battleships I put it torps into and the other Bismarck that he ended up eating one. And between the two Bensons I did eh, almost a Benson's worth of damage. After all my expenses, walked away with 217,000, 2,900 and 3,100 for the commander who is a long way from ever getting another skill point. Anyways, if you liked this game, please consider giving me the thumbs up or subscribing. I'm going to have another game hopefully just a little bit later, a couple hours from now, that's a more standard video for me, but I was asked to do kind of updates on my ranked play as I went, so this was that. As always, I'm Quicksilver Slash, and I'll have another one for you guys a little later.